Hey, hey, everybody, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, and let's get into it. You know, sometimes documentaries about people from the past serve as a reminder of all the contributions they made to the industry that they were in. And that's what the Dear Mama documentary did for Tupac. It reminded people about his contribution to the hip hop industry. So much so that they decided to give him a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, many people feel like the star is well-deserved and they're cheering him on and cheering his family on and saying about time. And others are giving it the side eye. Now, how do you feel about them giving Tupac a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Listen, I'm here for it. If it makes his family happy and others that feel that he really deserve it, I say, why not? They got everybody else's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Why not to pop? Now, we're going to get into this story right after this. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, we're going to get right into this story. So let me go ahead and share a screen with y'all. Let's get into this. So they said Tupac gets his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame nearly three decades after his passing. It's like, wow, time seems to fly by, right? It was already three decades ago since he, you know, was taken away from us. So Tupac dressed in a suit. So they got his picture there, him dressed in a suit. They said something that, you know, they blew up this picture. They said something you see like at a memorial service, but they said, however, the mood at this event was like a party, okay? So family members, close friends, and other rappers, collaborators hug, laugh, and exchange memories atop a red carpet along a roadway closed off to traffic. Pressing against still barricades, a crowd of hundreds wrapped his songs and chanted his name. They said, Tupac, Tupac, Tupac. Street vendors hold boxes from their vans filled with T-shirts bearing Shakir's face. Now listen, I ain't mad at these people. You are entrepreneur. You hit you. You jump on an opportunity. Get your t-shirts. Get out there and try to get your um sales on. Okay. Nearly 30 years after the 25 year old's um death in 1996, the New York born rapper, actor, and activist whose fame and influence only increased after his passing got his overdue Hollywood send-off, a star on the Walk of Fame. Now, how do you feel, guys? Do you feel like this star was overdue? I'm checking with y'all. I'm feeling overwhelmed and elated, and I don't even get high, one of his cousins um, told the Times after the ceremony, letting out an infectious laugh. It's just memories. The energy of all this here is just a great feeling. Nearby was his sister who spoke and accepted on the behalf of the artist. She remembered watching her brother when he was a teen performing at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. He had a role in the local production of A Raisin in the Sun. Before anybody recognized his name, the sister said, this is what he wanted. He was, this is what he was headed for. He was looking to get this star, okay? While presenting, um, the people said that June 7th is now going to be called Tupac Day. I didn't know when, do they do this for all people that they give a star on the Walk of Fame? Do they um, say, you know, declare a day on the calendar, your day? 
I mean, I think this is nice, okay? A lot of people, um, they were happy about it. The person presenting this and giving him the day said, listen, his his music literally kept me alive when I when I was growing up. He was there for me in my darkest moments. You know, you never know who people connect to, who you're helping, okay? So Tupac helped a lot of people indirectly. Now, Tupac moved around during his childhood from Harlem to Baltimore, eventually to L.A. Now, I think, I believe he met Jada Pickett Smith in um, Baltimore, okay? His music, um, um, which has political messages and tragic scenes of life from low-income black and brown neighborhoods of youth in Los Angeles, was rooted in the West Coast hip-hop, but exploded beyond the city. He sold more than 75 million records worldwide, okay, with albums that went platinum and diamond. Artists in later generations, such as Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, have cited Tupac as a direct inspiration. Tupac's success was something film director Allen tried to convey in his recent Hulu documentary, Dear Mama, which delves into the life of Tupac and his mother, who was a Black Panther um, member. Um, he was just also, he noticed that around the world, there was a lot of um, um, memorials, like, you know, paintings of Tupac. And he said, listen, Tupac was as big as Malcolm X and some others. And that's why he decided, like, I got to do this documentary, Dear Mama. Now, Tupac and Allen, they got into it. They got into it, but they later made up. And the way that Allen knows Tupac, he said that he did um, direct his music videos such as Brenda's Got a Baby alongside with his brother, Albert. And they had a disagreement in 1993 where Tupac beat Allen up. But they later on, Tupac apologized and, you know, you know, they got back together as friends again. So um, Allen's goal was to make sure that, you know, everybody got to know Tupac a little bit better with the documentary, Dear Mama. OK, the, the series was told from the perspective of Tupac's family, close friends and collaborators, mm -hmm. primarily his mother, who died in May of 2016. Allen used archive recordings she made after her son's death in which she told the story of her life and her son's life. The director drew parallels between her struggles with the criminal justice system and the FBI in her son's legal battles. OK, he shone a light on Tupac's, um, you know, pow pow of the two off-duty police, police officers involved in a dispute with a black motorist and his sexual abuse conviction in New York. Other subjects in the film, film included um, Tupac's cousins, um, his godfather, and a former Black Panther Party member who alongside his mom was among the Panther 21 arrested by the FBI in the 1970s. Now listen, if you have not seen this documentary, you need to watch it because his mom never went to college. She defended herself in court and won and actually was on the defense side helping some of her other Panthers, you know, fight their case. So um, his sister is the one that um, accepted or kind of was there for the ceremony, the, um, the Walk of Fame ceremony, okay? And they said the sister filed the lawsuit against the trustee of her mother's estate, music executive Tom, in the early 2022. In the suit, the sister accuses him of embezzling millions of dollars while hoarding items that belong to the rapper that she believes are now hers. And if she is the only surviving um, relative of Tupac, they do belong to her. First, they belonged to his mother when his mother was still alive. But now that the mother passed, they should go down to her. That's to my understanding. Those engaged in the suit have similarly set aside the legal dispute for Wednesday celebration. During the unveiling of Tupac Star, a photo op moment during which only a few designated guests are usually present. Family and friends defy the quorum crowding the platform, overshadowing, overshadowing the Chamber of Commerce and public official, officials as the group is silently hugged to catch a glimpse of the pink, um, you know, towel that is laid down around the 
walk, the star, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So in Tendi, some of the people that was there was rapper Young G, actor and comedian Mike Epps had several of um, um, Tupac's collaborators, including his fellow fellow digital underground rapper Money B and producer DJ Quick, who, who produced songs with the slang, you know, rapper and helped popularize West Coast hip hop. Members Outlaws was there. Okay. Um, Shakir's group at Death Row Records, including EDI, Mean, and Shakir's stepbrother. Okay. So a lot of people came there and celebrated, you know, what this, um, for this Hollywood star walk of fame that he got. Now, listen, guys, if you have not watched the Dear Mama documentary, I say it's worth it. It's not the easiest documentary to follow along. And I'm guessing because um, the director had to pull together clips to make this happen. But it's interesting. It's informative. And I did enjoy it. And I will be announcing soon where we'll be doing the final chapter of that series, recapping it on either my channel or Reyes channel. Well, listen, guys, chat with me in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this um, star was well deserved and um, overdue? Or, you know, what are your thoughts on it? So chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.